We just got to interview Mark Wahlberg about his latest movie, Father Stew. And so we got to ask him questions about the making of the movie and about his Catholic faith. So all that and more coming up next. Today, we were super excited to have Academy Award nominated actor Mark Wahlberg here on the show to talk about his new movie, Father Stew. So Mark, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Mark, what made you want to make this movie about Father Stu's story? Well, obviously, I was very inspired by Stu's story, but I also felt my own calling to do a lot more for my faith with the platform that I have. And so this was the beginning of a new chapter for me to starting to do more faith-based films, content, uh, things of that nature, just being more active in the church, the community, um, and just overall trying to utilize uh, all the blessings that have bestowed upon me for what God truly intended. And so that's, uh, that's, a it's a new path. Well, that's very exciting. Um, so we got to watch the film, which, which was amazing. And, uh, it was interesting because the diocese of Helena put out a statement about the, the video. And one of the things they said was that viewers should be warned that the film contains objectionable language, violence, and adult content. However, it's our hope that the redemptive story of father Stu's conversion will invite viewers to faith and strengthen believers. So can you talk to us about your decisions for the, the tone of the movie? Because it's real. Yeah. This is how people talk. Uh, you know, we are trying to bring anybody who has lapsed back, anybody who's never uh, gotten to know uh, or have, you know, really kind of committed to their faith. It, it, this is how people talk. And, and, and Stu is a very real, complicated, colorful guy. And I've seen a lot of faith based movies and I always enjoy them, but I've never really felt uh the kind of calling that I have when seeing or hearing Stu's story. And I just felt like, you know, we wanted something that was real. This movie is about tough mercy, tough grace, um, and honesty. And Stu is so on authentic and so credible when speaking to real people that he's encountered, which is why he had such a big following, why he impacted so many people in the short time that he served. And he's continuing to serve and his message is continuing to be echoed now, not only in Helena, but across the world. And so, yeah, we wanted to make something a little bit different, a little bit more real uh, mm -hmm. with the humor, the heart, the edge, and ultimately it's uplifting. So I remember when I sent the movie out to people in the archdiocese and I got resistance and no support. And then I said, okay, well, hopefully you'll, you'll at least give it a chance when I make the movie and see it. Mm -hmm. And I think they were really worried about it. And when I talked to especially Archbishop Thomas, he said, after about 15 minutes of crying, I absolutely understood why you wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. And especially the redemption aspect of the movie and them yeah. saying at the end of that quote mm -hmm. that nobody is beyond redemption, which is the most important thing, uh, especially in today's world where people are having a tendency to give up on people for whatever reason. And that is the worst thing you could have happen because people need to know that they're loved and they're cared for and that people are not giving up on them and that they should have hope and continue to strengthen mm -hmm. their faith. And, and it's never too late to turn your lives around. Amen. And I, I think honestly, like the language and just how real it is, that makes the story as the conversion starts to go. And, and man, it just makes it that much more powerful when you see him become a priest. Absolutely. Yes. And, and his conversion inside and outside, even as yeah. his physicality started to deteriorate, his spirituality yeah. soared. And, you know, he, uh, he was a remarkable man. Yeah. What was your favorite scene in the movie? You know, I really love them all. I think it's, it's one of those things. We shot the movie in 30 days, which is unheard of for a movie yeah. of this kind of size and scope. Um, I was just, I, I was really, I spent a lot of, a lot of year, a lot of decades preparing to play this part, um, both personally and professionally. And so I wouldn't, I, I don't really have a favorite i think some of the things that move me the most especially when Stu goes to the church by himself and he's on his hands and his knees asking why and you know i just lost my mom and i was dealing with a lot and obviously people were dealing with so much that was going on with COVID. i had lost friends and people that i know had lost their their livelihoods their businesses their jobs okay. i mean it was it's been a really tough time for everybody uh, especially recently which i think is even more uh, so the reason why people can all relate to Stu and personally identify with this story uh, in some sort of way. So, you know, uh, but I always loved like the confessionals and all those things, you know, uh, when he was confessing for the first time. And oh, that was our favorite. Was <laughs> such, such great moments, so you know, and they're really honest. And I think 
it's funny to watch somebody who's not Catholic watch the movie versus somebody who is Catholic and they get all the kind of Catholic jokes that are in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, those those were fun. But it was it really was a special, special experience making this movie. And it's really inspired me to continue to make more faith based content. So now we have a couple questions, a little bit of a lightning round from our viewers on your faith and the movie. And so the first question is, what is your favorite saint? Uh, well, so you know what, if you think about one of my great fa- favorite quotes in the movie, you know, St. Francis, St. Augustine, some of the most remarkable figures in the history of the church are reformed men. Uh, St. Michael, uh, there are many, 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 many. <laughs> Absolutely. Many. Uh, all right. Next question. Uh, what is your favorite book recommendation? Uh, I would say 365 days of daily devotional. Mm-hmm. always does it for me i i mean i'm so busy if i'm making a movie especially i'm reading the script sometimes three four hours a day in my preparation period but but getting up having my prayer time and then that daily devotional always kind of gets me ready mm-hmm. to kind of conquer the day at least gives me the attitude that i need to have and the, the approach to the, to walk out the door nice yeah. next question what is it like to be a catholic in hollywood uh, I, I would say same from for anybody being Catholic or, you know, Christian or Jewish or Muslim or anything else. I mean, I, yeah. I, one thing I don't do is I don't push my faith on anybody, but I certainly don't hide my faith in any way, shape or form. And I think, you know, we are way beyond in Hollywood or anywhere else, people being judged because of their faith. You know, I think, mm-hmm. uh, and, and this movie really is an open calling and invitation to anybody, from any walk of life uh, and people struggling, people who don't have faith and are kind of, you know, young people, especially who are like, oh, there's too many rules in the church and understanding mm-hmm. about the guy who died to build it, not, so, not necessarily the church or the ones who are there to keep up the rules and the regulations and how mad, how old or stale they seem. Um, you know, this is about acceptance and inclusion. So, yeah, well, well, thank you for, for being open and, and honest about your faith. Cause it's inspiring for, for us to see that for sure. Thank so. you guys. I'm so inspired by you guys and thank you for all of your service. It's amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your support. One last one. Ooh. Okay. If father Stu had one message to tell the world, what would it be? Oh, love each other accept each other and let's challenge each other to work together to be better. Amen. Amen. Well, to you, all of our viewers, let's continue to challenge each other. Thank, Thank you. you Mark. Good luck with those four little ones. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. God bless. God bless you. Thank you.